We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle round to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive. It is time we lead ourselves into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle round to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seed of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive, it is time we lead ourselves into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive in this great turning Turning, we shall learn to lead in love. We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle round to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive, it is time we lead ourselves into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive in this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. Hello friends of the Willamette Master Chorus. My name is Paul Clemmy. I'm the artistic director and conductor. I would like to welcome you to this, our final concert of the 21-22 season entitled Songs of Perseverance. I'm very proud to tell you that this is our eighth virtual concert within the last two years. Now we are making a transition. I do want you to know that this concert was also performed live in person at Hudson Hall. As we move forward, we will continue to have a presence on the internet, but I especially welcome you to come back to our in-person concerts next year. Now, speaking of next year, I hope that you can join us for our 22-23 season, which will focus on the music that we hoped to do two years ago. Yes, our veterans concert will happen in November. We will be performing Carl Jenkins' Songs of Mercy and Redemption with full orchestra, honoring all of our veterans. In December, we will have our holiday concert and we will be featuring our guest artist, the Oregon Trail Band. In February, we will be doing bluegrass music. We will feature the Bluegrass Mass by Carol Barnett and we will also invite the Severn Sisters from Salem to partner with us. 
And then finally in May of 2023, we will be at Mount Angel Abbey to perform sacred music in that sacred space. Please put it on your calendar. Please join us. Now today, we are offering highlights from our Songs of Perseverance concert. As you well know, many people and cultures have had to persevere to exist and to keep their lives whole during very difficult times. We especially are thinking about the people of Ukraine now who are having to persevere and keep their families intact. Today, we also acknowledge in our own country people and cultures that have had to persevere through difficult times in our history. We acknowledge the fact that we are walking on the sacred ground of the Kalapuya Indians. Not too far away is the Salish tribe. The Salish tribe lived on the Oregon coast and also predominantly in throughout Montana and Washington and into British Columbia. I have chosen a piece called The Song of the Salish Chief. You will hear one movement from that that talks about the life and times of a young man growing up to be a chief in the Salish tribe. Many joyous times, but also some very difficult and challenging times. I hope you'll enjoy this piece that was recorded live two weeks ago. We also take a look at the people of the African American community, still struggling, still having a difficult time in our present day, but also taking a look at where spiritual music came from the African Americans, especially during enslaved times. The men of the chorus will be singing, hold on. This spiritual talks about the faith that the enslaved person always remembered, to hold on to their faith and to persevere. You'll also hear a piece by Madison Hall. Madison is a soprano in our chorus, and she wrote a piece specifically for this concert that came out of her own journey through the pandemic. The piece is called I Wish for Spring. It's written for the women of the chorus. I hope you enjoy. Also in this concert, you'll hear a piece that was written specifically for educators. We honor and thank all of the educators in our community who have had to persevere through the last two years. So Ryan Amond has written a piece for us with text by Mark Lindsay, both chorus members, that talks about yearning for learning. This piece is a premier piece written especially for all of those who teach our young people. It will be sung by a quartet of women from our chorus. I hope you enjoy. And we will end our concert with a piece called Jubilant Day. Judy Rose, a composer from Portland, has written this piece from personal experience, reminding us all that every day when we wake up, this day begins and it ends with us by ourselves. But knowing that we contribute to a community that has to persevere together, we can't do this without one another. And so therefore, we as a chorus come together as a community and share this beautiful piece that talks about a jubilant day, and it's right around the corner. Thank you for being with us. We look forward to continuing our mission as a chorus that brings great music to the Willamette Valley. Now please enjoy Songs of Perseverance. Keep your hand on the plow, hold on, hold on. No one, no one, let me come in. The doors are shut and all the windows spin. Keep your hand on the plow, hold on, hold on. No one said you've done lost your track. You can't plow straight and keep a looking back. Keep your hand on the plow, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your hand on the plow, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh brother, hold on, oh sister, hold on, keep your hand on the plow, hold on, hold on, Mary had a golden chain, 
Every link spelled by Jesus' name. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on. Keep on climbing and don't you tire. Every round goes higher and higher. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, keep your hand upon the plow and hold on. The rain has stopped, a flower cautiously opens to the sun.
is Christy Perry, and I am the superintendent of Salem Kaiser Public Schools, proudly serving our 39,000 plus students, their families, and our amazing educators. What I do in my job day in and day out is uh, first and foremost a lot of meetings, um, but then as much as possible I try to get out to schools and into our community because I know that the work happens in our schools with our kids and so it's really important to me as a leader even in the busiest of times to be in schools and see uh, what our kids are doing. So uh, the COVID pandemic of course has changed everything about my work and in the early days of the pandemic I was probably online about 16 hours a day and um, what's been really interesting as we're coming out of the pandemic is how I have uh, needed to transition my schedule back to more in person and still virtual and getting places, but it really has changed. And as, a, as an education system, we had to totally change everything. So our educators, of course, had the hardest job of changing everything they were used to doing in person to doing online. So um, I'd like to give a shout out to every single employee, educator, every single person in Salem-Kaiser Public Schools. Uh, you really have been on the front lines for our kids and for our community. And then I would be remiss if I didn't do a shout out to our parents and our students. I'm telling you, you had to be on the front lines as well as we were on Zoom in your home. So huge appreciation to every single person who's really um, stepped up for our kids during this time. I'd like to express my thanks to the Willamette Master Chorus. Uh, I know that one of the things we've missed in the pandemic is coming together for a performance and music is healing. The virus came upon us and made us quarantine. We closed them down, society's crown and our schools became online. I began to wonder, do my students all have Zoom? all those who yearn so we give our praise to the teachers of this land for all your zest to give our best to those who help us learn hi my name is phil clark i'm a math teacher at roberts high school at schmeckata for salem kaiser public schools so i work for an alternative high school and i work with a lot of different kinds of students who have Dif different kinds of needs. A lot of students with uh, anxiety who, you know, a 2,000 person high school is not the right place for, or students who have uh, overcome kind of, or are overcoming, I should say, difficulties in their personal lives. And then a lot of the students I work with are also uh, teen parents. Uh, during COVID, I mean, everything was different. I mean, you, you still had your lessons, you still have your curriculum, but you know, normally students come into the classroom. Uh, I would spend, like there were some days where no one would be able to log in. Um, so I would make hundreds, if not thousands of phone calls to students and families, just checking in, seeing how they were doing. You know, sometimes we'd be able to sneak in a math lesson, but one of the things at that time I was working primarily with teen parents and our goal was to keep that connection because though we didn't know how long it was gonna be, we knew and we know how important it is to get all of those students back, not only for like their future, but their children's future. Anything we could do to keep that connection going. If I could shout out to one group, it is the childcare staff who work with the pre-K students all around the city of Salem. It was so hard to be a parent of young children during this pandemic and those workers who couldn't bring those kids in, went out to the homes, they delivered diapers, they delivered food, they counseled people towards resources. They did a lot of work um, just connecting people in a very dark time. You know, most of them get paid minimum wage and they do it because they, they love students and they love their schools and they love our community. And I, I don't think they get enough recognition. I'd like to thank the Willamette Master Corps for the opportunity to give voice to teachers and educators about what we've all experienced during this time. We thought that it was over, we thought that we'd go back, but mutations came and doused hopes flame, we're staying home again. So another year remotely, teaching from my room, all is ready, the camera's steady, it's time, time now to begin through the long, long days. 
the COVID virus scare. You adapted fast, your will steadfast to teach all those who yearn. So we give our praise to the teachers of this land. For all your steps, we give our best to those who help us learn. Hi, my name is Jamie Hall. I am the band director at Straub Middle School in West Salem. I'm proud to be in my 31st year of teaching and I've been in the Salem Kaiser District for 22 of those years. My day-to-day -day job at Straub requires that I get kids started in the fifth grade or sixth grade and then move them towards becoming competent musicians at the high school level. What I really think I do in my job every day is I try to teach character education. We, I know most of my students are not going to go on to be professional musicians, but I want them all to be outstanding human beings. So I'm trying to teach them how to work together with other people, how to have cooperative uh, skills with other folks, how to be unselfish, and how to think for themselves. The most challenging thing about teaching through COVID was not being able to interact personally with my students. I really felt bad for them. They suffered a great deal because they need that personal interaction with their friends to develop those interpersonal skills and they were missing that. Being a band teacher, one of the most wonderful things is when we get in a room and create the sound of music, it takes all of us to make that sound. We could never really hear that sound because we could only hear one or two people at a time. There's so many folks that I need to thank for helping us make the COVID educational experience as positive as it could be. Um, I need to start with our district leadership, our, our outstanding superintendent. The folks at Technology were amazing. I can't believe that we were able to go from going home one weekend and then within two weeks, every student in our district had a laptop and had a hotspot if they needed it. They did a tremendous job of making sure kids had what they needed so we could reconnect with them. I also need to shout out to the folks that feed our kids. Many of our students need the lunches that they have at school every day and it's so important for them to have access to that. And they were just, they set up so many different places where kids could go and grab a lunch. On my building level, my outstanding principal, Mr. Denny McCarthy, the many challenges he faced and the relationship we have, just talking through these things and knowing that we were gonna focus on the health and emotional well-being of our kids and not worry about some of the other things that just weren't as important at that point. What was important was that kids were healthy and we got them back in school. Thank you to the Willamette Master Course for, for doing this for teachers. I have to tell you, I was honestly humbled to be asked to, to be a part of this. It's to feel like I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do as a teacher and as a person in the community. But thank you for, for recognizing our challenges and helping us be recognized for what we went through. Thank you so much. Now finally, two years later, we're able to go back to our classrooms. No more Zoom in person, we will start. And now that schools are open, we're hoping for the best. We wear our masks, complete our tasks, and teach with all our heart. Through the long, long days of the COVID virus scare, you adapted fast, your will steadfast to teach all those who yearn. So we give our praise to the teachers of this land. For all your steps, we give our best to those who help us learn through the long, long days of the COVID virus scare. You adapted fast, your will steadfast to teach all those who yearn. So we give our praise to the teachers of this land. For all your steps, we give our best to those who help us learn.
Willamette Master Chorus audience. My name is Sarah Chasen. I sing in the alto section and presently serve as chorus president. As we bid farewell, I would like to express my deep appreciation to all educators along with their families for the sacrifice and dedication that you have offered to our community. I'm a teacher at Howard Street Charter School in Salem, and I've been witness to the incredible courage shown by students and teachers these past two years. We will get through this. The chorus and our audience honors you and thanks you. If you are able, please consider a donation to the Willamette Master Chorus. This concert was offered free to all who wish to listen. The chorus has been consistent with presenting virtual concerts for the past two years. However, we have not realized any ticket income during that time. Our organization has ongoing expenses. We also have youth music education programs that require funding and support. Your gift counts. Thank you for your consideration. Now, let us end our time together with a jubilant day by Judy Rose. Have a great summer and we look forward to seeing you in our 2022-23 season. Each day begins and ends with me. Oh, yes, my Lord, yes, my Lord I, I found me a jubilant day. Oh, yes, my Lord, yes, I, found I found me a jubilant day. day. Oh, yes, my Lord, oh, yes, my Lord, yes, my Lord, I found me a jubilant day. Sometimes this journey is hard, sometimes
founded jubilant, I found